I just finished a pretty intense obstetrics rotation where I did five 24 hour shifts in three weeks. On top of that, every single day of the week, we start at 7 a.m. in the delivery room and we finish at about 5 to 6 p.m., which means that's 10 hours a day of running around and barely have any time to eat. In this video, I wanna share with you the one big secret weapon that helped me finish this rotation in pretty good shape. Not only I survived, I continued to eat pretty well, I stretched every single day and I run regularly. To my own surprise, which is when I realized the cumulative power of this weapon, three days after my last 24 hour shift, I ran a half marathon under two hours, beating my personal record. I couldn't believe it myself. That secret lies in one word, sleep. Before this obstetrics rotation, I started reading a book called Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. Sleep has always been something important to me, but in the past, I've regularly sacrificed it for different things and various reasons. But after reading this book, I realized the absolutely paramount importance of sleep in making sure that I'm performing and learning at my highest potential, especially in a rotation where I'll be pushing both my physical and mental limits. For this rotation, I tabulated all the hours that I spent in the hospital working over the last three weeks, and it amounted to 189 hours, not including any time spent getting ready or in commute. That is 63 hours per week. And let's imagine that this is a normal five day work week, 63 divided by five, and that is 12.6 hours per day. Imagine working 12.6 hours, that's from 8 a.m. to almost 9 p.m. every single day, five days a week, except worse because I work on weekends and I have those 24 hour shifts where I literally work from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. the next day, and the average amount of sleep I get in those 24-hour shifts is between zero to one hour. Yeah, so all this to say, this rotation was going to for sure destroy me if I didn't take care of myself. And I knew this very well going into this rotation because I've heard it enough from other residents who's done this in the past. So I made a commitment. I told myself that I would get a non-negotiable eight to nine hours of sleep every single night that I'm not in the hospital. So during the following three weeks, I made sleep the single most important task to accomplish. As a result, this resolution, along with the very long working hours, give me very little free time in those three weeks. To be there on time for 7 a.m., I have to get up at 5.50 a.m. the latest. And by the time I'm completely done my day and ready to relax for the evening, it's usually about 6 p.m. To ensure that I get at least eight hours of sleep every night, I give myself nine hours of time in bed. I think this is an important concept to clarify because time spent in bed isn't time asleep. So by 8.30 p.m. or latest 9 p.m., I made sure I'm in bed. That leaves me about two and a half hours of free time every day which isn't much at all, considering that I have to cook, eat, stretch, and run as much as I can. With very little room to maneuver in my schedule, I was intentional with what I was doing. I knew that every minute I waste on social media are cutting directly into my sleep. So as a side effect of prioritizing my sleep, in the last three weeks, I significantly reduced the time that I spend watching useless YouTube videos, checking my analytics, or spending time on social media. And this was mind liberating because those things occupy so much of my mental and emotional reserves. When I don't spend my time comparing, ruminating, and just feeling negative, it creates this sense of mental clarity and lightness, which then translates into physical energy. I think as important as getting a good night of sleep, freeing up that mental space enabled me to ramp up my running and complete a half marathon despite a quite hectic schedule. This reminds me that without good habits and discipline, having too much free time on our hands are not necessarily a good thing. I like this quote that says, too much free time is certainly a monkey's pal in disguise. Most people can't handle a structureless life. So in my personal experience, 
the benefits of sleep comes in two folds. First is the intrinsic, physical, emotional, and cognitive benefits that comes with a good night of sleep. And secondly, it's the fact that it takes away our free time, which can keep us on our toes about how we spend our time during the day. I think we live in a society where overworking and productivity are overrated and sleep is so undervalued. I really believe that before we try to optimize and improve anything in life, whether it's our health, our studying, or working habits, we have to first fix our sleep because sleep is the very foundation upon which we can build other aspects of our lives. I frankly cannot make sense of talking about optimizing or improving a brain that's chronically sleep deprived, low functioning and dysregulated. And this is definitely a big problem in the medical training system where resident doctors are overworked and sleep deprived. 24 hour shifts are widely accepted for resident doctors across the country. Having five 24 hour shifts in three weeks actually respects the guidelines put in place by the Resident Association of Ontario. This lifestyle is even praised for its mental toughness in some places. And we honestly need to awaken to the fact that this is neither healthy nor necessary. And at the end of the day, this is just not safe for our patients. One of the women giving birth at our unit was really surprised to learn that I was working 24 hours that day. And I wonder how many patients are unaware of the fact that doctors are chronically sleep deprived. If I was that woman, I would actually be scared to know that this doctor who's working 24 hours is delivering my baby. This was my experience going through a broken medical system. Don't get me wrong, things are a lot better than what it used to be, but I believe there's still a lot of room for improvement. And sharing my experiences help people who are not in the medical community to understand and get a glimpse into how sometimes residency can be really tough. The takeaway message I have for you today is do not sacrifice your sleep. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.